good afternoon everyone in this video we will discuss synchronous generator construction types of rotors so construction detail we will discuss now it's uh, model number uh, 5 uh, uh, concept this subject is common for all the branches right so synchronous generator again uh, uh, i'll be discussing uh, uh, the definitions and working principle right so generator which converts mechanical to electrical uh, uh, it rotates at synchronous speed constant speed and also uh, to keep the frequency remains constant so we are having uh, that uh, synchronous generator and also we can call it as alternator uh, it uh, gives alternating voltage alternating current that's why it is called as alternator and uh, also it is called as a ac generator generates ac power supply right so this type of generator we can find in the power stations like uh, thermal power plant hydel power plant nuclear power plant and also uh, gas power plants and all. There we are using synchronous generator. So you might have seen while uh, uh, I mean visiting the power plants or power stations, there there is a generator. It occupies al almost 60 40 site. So the big big uh, uh, generators are uh, uh, placed in the power stations because uh, the, to produce more power. Uh, more power as well as more generating voltage, more generating current. They used to transfer from uh, around uh, uh, 1000 kilometers to, um, to your home. Uh, for example, I can say Joga to Bangalore or Ballari to Bangalore around uh, approximately 400 kilometers. They used to transfer right? power supply from there to here. Uh, that's why they used to keep synchronous generator for more power production. So another one question you should keep in your mind uh, like how much voltage we are generating in the power stations or the standard value. Uh, sometimes they may ask in your competitive examinations uh, that you keep in your mind 11 kilovolts in India and frequency uh, around 50 hertz. Whichever the power plant. Uh, wind power plant, thermal, nuclear, hydel, whichever the power plants, the voltage value around 11 kilo volts and also frequency 50 hertz. Okay, so let's see construction and types of rotor. Constructional part, uh, stator will be there, rotor will be there. Stator is a stationary part of the machine, rotor is a rotating part of the machine. Uh, here, stator armature conductors are uh, uh, constant, are stationary. But in the uh, rotor uh, having magnetic uh, field, that field is rotating, having pole core, pole shoe, field winding, stator slots, stator armature conductor, yoke, everything will be there in the constructional detail. And types of rotor we can call it as uh, one is silent pole, another one is non silent pole or smooth cylindrical uh, pole. So, silent pole we are using in the uh, hydel power plants because the speed is uh, uh, less. But in the uh, thermal power plant, in the hydel, uh, thermal power plant, nuclear power plant, and uh, the gas power plants, there we are using non salient pole or smooth cylindrical rotor because the speed around more than uh, 3000 rpm. That's why they used to keep smooth cylindrical rotors in the thermal power plants. Right? Okay, let's see. Now, uh, one by one uh, uh, concepts like stator, rotor, and uh, field winding, everything we will discuss now. Synchronous generator, constructional features, and uh, types of uh, rotor. So, stator we are having uh, that is a stationary part of the machine, rotor is a rotating part of the machine, rotor is having field winding over here, but stator is having armature winding or armature conductor. Why? Because they used to generate more voltage, more power, more current. That's why armature conductors is in stationary, right? If you consider DC generator, what happens? Generator, there is a armature conductors in the rotor, DC generator, okay? And the field is constant. There is a sparking, there is a brush contact drops, there is a uh, copper lashes, so many lashes will be there in the DC generator. That's why they used to keep this type of generator in the power stations. Uh, because more power generation, right? More power requirement, requirement uh, is needed. 
even though uh, at present uh, we are concentrating solar power plants and then wind power plants even though wind power plants also they are using synchronous generator whatever uh, uh, we used to see uh, while traveling uh, from um, bangalore to raichur there is a, a wind power plants we can find and also shumaga uh, there we can find of wind power plants uh, there there is a rotation will be there there is a hub will be there and uh, inside there is a synchronous generator present uh, gear backs will be there and uh, turbine that is a turbine okay that rotation whatever the nails are whatever whatever the um, that blades are rotating right uh, so that is uh, um, uh, turbine okay so the uh, stator consisting of stator slats it is made up of uh, cast iron or silicon steel uh, stator slats uh, like um, uh, is for uh, to holding the stator armature conductor see construction feature stator part i'll explain now i mean like i'll uh, list out now after the rotor part okay stator part see just i'll sh uh, show you the diagram so what are what are the stator parts over here uh, the stator parts are like uh, okay stator part is this one only stationary part so it's having a uh, uh, yoke yoke is the outer cover of the machine and also it avoids entering of dust particles moisture contents inside the machine and also mechanical support to the stator slots right and next stator slots to holding the stator armature conductor it is in inner periphery of the synchronous generator and uh, it is made up of silicon steel or cast iron and also yoke is made up of silicon steel or cast iron and uh, stator armature conductor when already magnetic field cuts by this armature conductor what happens induce emf work has to be done right because we need a in induced voltage or uh, we need a power supply see your three phase power supply output okay not input if it, if you give input act as a synchronous motor it's a synchronous generator so we are getting power supply from the uh, this generator i'll just draw one turbine over here okay turbine uh, is for what to give mechanical input to the uh, generator right so stator part over next there is a rotor part rotor part is having consisting of uh, field coils field coils for what for producing the magnetic field or magnetic flux it rotates at a speed of ns is equal to 120f by p and the uh, field magnets right that's a field magnet and field coils are same don't confuse okay field magnets and field coils coil is a uh, acts as a magnet and uh, stator uh, core already over because to holding the stator armature conductor and rotor uh, rotating part of the machine and it holds uh, like uh, overall uh, uh, field field magnets and then uh, poles and all and then this uh, there is a pole core pole core is for holding the field winding over here and here there is a dc supply for exiting the magnetic field if you are not giving dc supply into the uh, synchronous generator what happens uh, uh the magnetic field will not create and there is no induced voltage or induced current in the output side or in the stator side okay see this is all of the types of slots we are using wide open type slots semi closed type slots and closed type slots okay this slots okay so this slots so uh, stator slots and next we have uh, silent pole rotor or uh, rotor silent pole rotor uh, diameter is large small axial length but uh, uh, in the non silent pole diameter is small and large axial length uh, see this is the magnet how, how how they place uh, field winding and then um, this one is, uh, slip rings and all and non silent pole uh, type rotor diameter is small is more and non silent pole uh, so unstarted portion is called as a poles here so armature uh, magnetic field the magnetic field coils they used to place in between that uh, non silent poles okay difference between uh, non silent pole and then silent pole uh, type rotor uh, so here diameter is large small axial length but here diameter is small this diameter okay so this diameter okay this diameter is small but large this diameter okay? always used to uh, keep this diameter diameter is small large axial length this axial length is large but here only small uh, only small and also this is for low voltage application this is for uh, uh, high voltage application or high speed application we can say for example uh, for this one is uh, 
hydel power plants because the rotation is around less than 500 but in the non salient pole rotor for the turbo machines like turbo generators they are using um, this type of uh, um, rotor because speed is more right and also in the uh, non salient pole uh, rotor poles are projected out from the surface here uh, there is no poles unstructured portion is called as a uh, poles right this one is uh, projected pole uh, synchronous generator this one is non projected pole synchronous generator right and also uh, we can say the uh, simple construction here there is a complicated uh, constructions and also air gap is uh, here uh, uniform uh, okay here uniform air gap uniform air gap but here uh, uh, air gap is not uniform if it is placed in the uh, sitar rotor right so constructional uh, parts and uh, types of rotors over so i think uh, uh, you got the idea about uh, synchronous generator okay thank you